Right now at Chicago City Hall, a live look at the council meeting that's underway. It's the first time in over a year that council members have had the option of attending in person. But before heading into that meeting, some aldermen were part of a rally and a march outside of City Hall calling for police reform. CBS 2's Mugo Odigwe joins us live to explain. Mugo. Yeah, good morning, Ryan. There is an ordinance called Empowering Communities for Public Safety. You can see some of the group that is behind this ordinance right here in this moment. And those behind it say it will help hold p police in Chicago accountable. And many of them spoke today, including actor and activist Danny Glover. The work that you do, every single one of you do, as we stand out here in the cold, is essential to making this city what is possible. So a crowd of supporters of that ordinance gathered at the Thompson Center to hear from various speakers today, including some Chicago aldermen. Simply put, the Empowering Communities for Public Safety, or ECPS ordinance, is asking for many policing reforms and changes within the Chicago Police Department, including forming a seven-member body that will have the power to select and remove the police superintendent, the chief administrator of the Civilian Office of Police Accountability, and police board members. After a guilty verdict in the Derek Chauvin case, organizers say one cop getting convicted is not justice. They want the entire system changed. See, ECPS, when we pass it, and we're going to pass it because we are a powerful coalition. When ECPS is enacted, it will create the strongest civilian oversight commission in the country. And in the city of Laquan McDonald, in the city of Adam Toledo, we've got to pass the strongest version of civilian oversight in the country. So to be clear, this ordinance is not being discussed today during the current uh, ongoing city council meeting. Members say they want to make sure they can at least get 34 aldermen to support this ordinance before they officially put it on the table for discussion or a vote. We'll, of course, update you if or when that happens. We're live in the loop. Mugo Odigwe, CBS 2 News. Mugo, thanks. As you mentioned, aldermen were allowed back into City Hall uh, Council Chambers today for the first time in over a year. The mayor encouraged those who felt comfortable to do so. 27 members did show up, while 22 remained virtual.